one of the reasons why I have this show and this YouTube channel is to encourage healthy living uh, mentally, physically, spiritually, and especially emotionally, and that we share healthy communication from and with one another. And this includes really actively listening to one another because we're all connected. This is Mitake Oyasi. We are connected to everything around us, just like everything inside of us is connected to each other. This is the complete definition of mitakuya oyasin. So in the Lakota Tioshpai way of living, when something good happens to us, we celebrate with each other. We all celebrate for each other. Because when something good happens to us, it affects others in a good way, in a healthy way. So likewise, when one of us is going through a difficult time, it affects us too. So we support each other. We give each other emotional and spiritual support when one of us is going through a difficult time. In Lakota songs, when you sing a song, you sing it for the people as well as for yourself. So a lot of words will say things like, I'm going through a difficult time. And this could mean two things. It could mean that, yes, you, the singer, are going through a difficult time. But another way to look at it is that you are singing for somebody else who is going through a difficult time as well because everything is connected yeah everything is connected to each other which this means this makes us all relatives again it comes down to that mitakwe oyasing and where we connect is deep within us where our physical our mental our spiritual and our emotional parts connect to each other in the center this is our sacred center so that is how we connect to everything, and that's how everything inside of us is connected to. We all have this, okay? So when we sing these songs, it's for everybody, including the self. So what I'm going to present you is commonly called the Lakota prayer song, even though <laughs> technically most sacred songs don't have titles. They just sing them for whatever reason for whatever purpose. So in this song, I will sing the Lakota, and then after I sing, then I will translate what I sang. So here we go. Hey, 
In Lakota songs are normally sung four times because four is a sacred number in Lakota spirituality. It represents a lot of things. There's four parts of the self, uh, there's four directions, there's four of a lot of things. Yeah, so that's why we sing it four times. So that's why you heard me sing the song four times. Now, what the lyrics are saying is it's addressing the original ones, the original creations. These are Tungashila, the original creations. These are sacred helpers. They are spiritual beings and they live in circular stones that are commonly found near rivers. These are Tungashilapi. The plural is pi. Yeah? So they'll say Tungashilapi. And Wakantanka is a sacred organization of beings that were involved with the creation of the universe. Okay? Now, as I say in a lot of these videos, today a lot of people Christianize these two terms, Tungashila and Wakantanka, because of what happened at the beginning of the reservation times. It was a very difficult time in which, you know, we were not allowed to leave the reservation. It was like a prison camp, and we were not allowed to hunt for the foods that our bodies are used to. And... We were not allowed to speak our language, and we were not allowed to do our ceremonies. So we were hit physically, spiritually, and emotionally. Now these are three of the four parts that I mentioned earlier. So with three parts down, the fourth part is going to automatically go down too, and that's the mental part, the mind. So we became mentally weak. At that same time, the churches were coming to the reservation, and they were having the holy people and medicine people thrown into a mental asylum in Canton, South Dakota. And these were holy people from all tribes, yeah, not just the ones in South Dakota, but from all over America. They were sent to this mental institution to die. The reason why the churches did this was so that the native people would have nowhere to go for spiritual matters. So, this was a way to get us to go to church. And like I said, at this time, we're weak-minded because we're not eating healthy foods, we're not allowed to speak our language, and we're not allowed to do our ceremonies. So we go to church. <laughs> and, uh, and we were separated from one another too. So church was an opportunity for the relatives to all see each other. So people looked forward to going to church so they could see each other. So while they were there, they were listening to the preacher speaking, and that works on the mind. Because, like I said, we were weak physically, spiritually, and emotionally. So what the preacher was saying was working on our minds, and we became mentally weak, and we started to accept the Christian definitions of Tungashila and Wakantanka. So this is why, if you go to the reservation today, 99% of the time, an elder will tell you that Tankashila is God, that Wakantanka is God. And this is not correct. This is absolutely false. Tankashila, these are original creations, the spirits that live in these stones that are helper spirits. Wakantanka is an organization of many beings that help to create the universe and we're also from whom we can cry to and pray and sing to. And there's more than one Wakantanka organization, okay? There's several, and neither one is more important or better than the other. There's no good versus evil in the original Lakota way. So in the, the first part of the song, you hear me sing, Tungashila Wakantanka. I'm not singing to God. I'm singing to the original helper spirits and also to these organizations that created the universe. The, again, this is not God. All right. The first two lines were the same. They were Tungashila wa kantanka heya hoye wa yelo. And then you heard me say he at the end. That's a vocable. Okay. 
That's not a word. Even where it says heya after wakantanka, that's a vocable too. So again, I'll say it tungashila wakantanka heya. That heya is a vocable. Then the other part hoye wayelo. Hoye wayelo is that means I send my voice. I send my voice to the to the helper spirits and to the wakantanka organizations. That's what this line is saying. And the second line is the same thing. And the last line, Tungashina Omakiyayo, that means the helper spirit. Help me. And Makaki Jelo, that means I am going through a really difficult time. When Christians translated that, they translated it to mean I'm suffering. Yeah, because we must suffer. <laughs> But it means I'm going through a really, really difficult time. So please help me through this. Help me find the strength within myself to make it. Because I know I will learn from this and that this is bringing me a blessing as long as I work through it. And that I try my best. And people will see a person suffering in the Teoshpai and then they all go to comfort that person and they all sing this song together. It's a way of asking for help and in this world today we really need that. Yeah, We really need this. We have to start to think in our minds that we are all connected to each other, that we need to sing for each other, to pray for each other, even for those we don't know, even if they have different belief systems, we still are connected to each other through that sacred center that I mentioned earlier. So this is why I'm sharing this song with you. I encourage you to learn to sing this song and to teach others. Yeah? So we can sing for one another. So we can sing for those people who are hurting mentally, physically, spiritually, and especially emotionally regardless of who they are, regardless of what color their skin is, regardless of what language they speak, but that we sing for each other. Yeah? Because we are all connected to one another. This is why in Lakota they say the honor of one is the honor of all. Likewise, the pain of one is the pain of all. Yeah? But we can support one another and get through we can make it together. So think of even people in your family, people in your community, people who are from different cultures from yourself, people who are from different parts of the world who are going through hard times. You just look at the news and you see all the nonsense that's happening because of politics and because mainly of money. That's the main reason why all these things are happening. War is about money. It's not about defending liberty. It's not about defending freedom. That's bullshit. That's what the politicians want you to believe so that you'll send your, your children to the slaughter just so they can make more money, just so the politicians can make more money. It has nothing to do with freedom. It has nothing to do with liberty. So again, I encourage you to learn to sing this song. Sing it in private. Sing it for yourself. Sing it for others. Because that's what these songs are for. Yeah? The Lakota sacred songs are, are sung in a way that it's not only just for you, but it's for others too. So when you say, Makaki Jelo, I'm going through a really, really difficult time. Maybe you're not going through a difficult time, but when you sing this, you are singing it for somebody who is, yeah, who is going through a difficult time. So keep that in mind. Sing this song, learn to sing it, sing it every day, because we all need it, yeah, we all need it. Haomitakuyapi, tekichi hilapo, love one another. To read more about Lakota Star Knowledge Spirituality, you can read my book called Wichoha Otechike. You can see the book cover on the right side of this screen. This book contains the information to what I talk about on my Lakota Spirituality videos. 
To purchase this book, please click below where it says Show More. Clicking on that link will open up the description below. And there you will see a link called To Purchase My Books. As you will see, it's an eBay link. Click on that eBay link and there you will see the information to get this book. Lila Pilamayelo. Thank you very much.